Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Artisans SMP. Yep, we're finally back after I think more than a year at this point. Um, yeah. What What do you even have to say? The our Artisans is back for what will be the final episode of Artisans SMP forever. Yep, you heard me right. This will be the last ever episode of Artisans SMP, which is quite emotional considering this was like the first main series on my youtube channel and uh yeah uh there's also going to be uh, a season two of artisans apparently um i don't know if i'm going to play that i don't think i will but uh, yeah just don't expect a season two of artisans um but yeah anyways we're gonna start off by you know finishing up some some of the stuff on the um you know on the island and then uh checking out some stuff from way back in the beginnings of the server and the first thing we're gonna do is uh build finally build our spiky island let's go And we're back from the time lapse. Yep, uh, we, I have my shaders out now, and look at this. This this looks epic, honestly. I think, honestly, I might have claimed the best looking build for Artisans. Season 1 at least. I don't know about Season 2, obviously. Uh, but I'm not going to be there to play it. But maybe, maybe we should start from the beginning, you know? So, here we have, you know, the um, lush jungles, like dense landscape that we have uh well that, that we hopefully will have at some point around here obviously i think there's like three days left on the server until it goes down so maybe i, I don't even know if i have time but maybe if i get together with like the uh european guys uh, mine uh which hopefully uh we will get together with them tomorrow at least when i'm recording this obviously for you guys it will it will be in the same video so if you walk through here there's the jungleist landscape of course and then this like the, the thing it becomes more dead and I really like the gradient that did here and then the um the big dead bush and yeah and then we always have some spikes because uh we we gotta have small spikes and we have the very very big ones and obviously I think you guys have probably seen the um time lapse so you've probably seen this from uh, like above but yeah just walking around is is very very cool in my opinion. I might also probably take off the shaders as well to show you. Just also how I built this, and then I, I really really like this area. I just I just try to make something so much cooler than uh, usually. So yeah, I think uh, there's still some stuff that I have to remove and at least move. But yeah, maybe we should take a look at it from uh, like above, like like a lot above. But yeah. 
this was well, it's not necessarily a mega bait mega build it does cover up a significant portion of the entire island and it just makes this i like this place look so much like cooler we can i land no i couldn't land on it no well yeah anyways this this is this is super cool and hopefully in the next clip i will get together with a uh, totem and shadow and then we're gonna hopefully fix up the rest of the island until um before the uh service is out oh what's he done yeah. here then why has he dug it out like this hey why did he build what did he put in the effort to f fill in the walls of a f mob farm he used creative for this for certain I mean, I hope, I, I hope for oh, his yeah, sake. Look at, he... look at, this is definitely use of commands, because he wouldn't have had this hole there if he did it by hand. I mean, yeah. Actually, yeah. Wait, slash. Wait, I can check who has opt. Yeah, Sinos is opt. So yeah, probably. Right, yeah. it's not his island. What's he done inside then? Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's actually, I don't know, it's some kind of the bakery. Door? I don't know. It I mean, a it's bathroom. a cool looking base. It'd be good if he built it just somewhere else. Yeah. It's a host. Why, why has he got a check in? That's actually yeah. a very good question. Wait, is this actually like a hotel? Why has he made a hotel? Okay. Why so is there a table? It's, it's, a tennis hotel. Tennis okay. table. Okay. it's a hotel. Room one. Okay. R balcony. Oh! Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You know how like, this is our island and everything here is our property? Yeah. Come in here real quick. Do you reckon he needs that? <laughs> no. Room two. What the f? This is like the. F this is like basically almost as bad as like as like the f Harry Potter bedroom. Dude, I I love this bathroom. I love when you can just f look at someone taking a. Get good view in there. Yeah. Okay, dude. Pull the lever. No, well, I'm not necessarily in on top of the scaffolding, but like you know. Should I, or should I just, uh, do it from it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is almost definitely made with commands. Can't be anything else. Yeah, I hope for his sake that he made it with creative. No. No, bro. Actually, don't exist. I made a rough outline of the uh, everything. Yeah, uh, I spotted that. Yeah, and also uh, Sinus's house is just literally gone. He probably just did a uh, world edit then uh, slash slash yeah, set probably. zero. Uh, wait. So let me let me just put a sign down. Uh. Oh, don't please. There. But honestly, I, I usually think, who would win? Me or like a hundred kids who don't know about this game? A hundred? Yeah. Me or my entire school? In Minecraft? Yeah. Uh, there must be at least one kid in your school that can play the game. Yeah, but like the problem is I don't think they're PvP. No way, he's back! The king! So guys, we've done it. We've uh, finished. Uh, we've finished the island. Well, not not, not finished, obviously. Um, uh, because uh, this obviously a lot I would would have wanted to do. Um, but honestly, I think um, it's time to um, maybe even give you guys a little bit of a tour of the uh, whole island. So of course, here we have a uh, what we just built. Me, uh, Totem, and Shadow. Well, I, I don't even remember if Totem was in there, but uh, yeah, this uh, very Cool looking modern mansion in my opinion. Uh, I think it suits the area better than the um, what Sinus was built originally. Um, yeah, if we look on the inside, uh, uh, we we don't have time for to do the interior. The server closes in like a few hours, so uh, I don't have. Okay, um, you're not supposed to see that. Uh, but obviously, each of one of us, each one of the uh, European Empire gang. Uh, has their own room, and also there's an infinity pool here, so you can like 
swim and look out of the uh, bamboo jungle leaf forest and the uh, ocean. And the unfinished boats. But yeah, taking a close look at the rooms. Here we have a uh, totem's room. Um, yeah, I can't lie. He wasn't. He, he wasn't even here. Uh, he he just couldn't play. And uh, so so we just built this with a little totem. But yeah, there was supposed to be like probably a meeting room up here, but uh, or something, or and like we're like down here maybe. I I don't know. We just we just haven't had time to uh, finish uh, the whole thing, obviously. Um, here we have what would be uh, Shadow's room, but obviously he gone he got on to play and help me build some of this thing, but uh, he could he wasn't he, he didn't have time to finish that. And then down here is a tunnel that leads down to uh, the uh, storage system, which we will uh, check out later. Obviously, uh, yeah, I can't be bothered to do that honestly. Um, but yeah, going down here. Is my little humble abode, my little my room. Uh, you can obviously, I think you can probably tell why this is my room, because you have a great view of the ocean and, more specifically, boats, and boats, and a harbor, which usually would um, have a lot of boats in it, like cargo ships. Uh, obviously, uh, the ship that would be here is the uh, the sand ship, which is obviously docked in the shopping district. Um, but yeah, this is actually furnished compared to like everything else. Also, my my little double double bed uh, chest for when we uh, built this thing, we we just stored items then crafting table. Um, just get, get get rid of that. Yeah, yeah. Then there's also a bathroom, which I think this is just so f cool. Honestly, to just imagine sitting and taking a poop right here, like imagine just the view. It would be so cool just to see like the wildlife in the jungle, like right outside your big glass windows. And and this is cool. Yeah. And also, yeah. Now you can shower here. Okay, not really, but I can, you know, wash your hands or your face or whatever. Yeah, cool stuff. I decided to build a little uh little sailboat, but that's probably one of the lost and most minor things that I've done. Uh there's a little bit of a, a uh, harbor here for the exports and imports to be able to take place. Um, and then we also... I, I try to finish up the uh, a lot of the base and connect up some paths right here, which is uh, quite nice in my opinion. And obviously, it's, there's a lot more like jungly, lush landscape right here. Not too de detailed. Finished up the um, farm. Build a little house for Nick SF's, uh sheep, so that mostly because uh, I I needed this space. Um, but it looks it's cool. It even has this bed on it. But yeah, I finished up the uh, the big wheat field. And there's also a tractor there because uh, you you need a tractor even on like a small like private island. Yo, I think you guys have probably seen this in a previous episode. I should probably you probably haven't, but uh. This is, these are houses, Cinevus's house, and then, uh, uh, Milky Red's house. But yeah, I really just love, you know, the, the landscape here, just w walking around, what's, witnessing it all. Just, uh, uh, it just puts a smile on my face. Now, this one thing I still think we need to do, and that is, uh, to, uh, build the, uh, final map here. Down there in the um, down here in the thing. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you some a few other spots. Like for example, this head collection, which this is missing a head. I think there's a few heads missing, but uh, yeah. Uh, there's also the um, Isaac head. It was going to be the um, uh, communist Isaac head, but I don't think they had even exists anywhere on the server, so I'm probably just gonna have to take my regular head and put there. Um, and then also, of course, the uh, tunnel that goes uh, between the storage system right here to um, the uh, modern house. Uh, so yeah, that goes to there. Uh, I'm not gonna show it because it takes too much time. But honestly, let's just uh, wait for it to be day. Uh, and then I'll do uh, the, then I'll update the map.
And yes, there we have it. The final, the finalized map of the island. So here you can see the uh, progression of the island. I think this was from like, thinking about it, I think it was made from like April. April of 2022. Then this, uh, what? Wait, this update? I have no idea why, but this map has been like updated like very, very recently. Like y literally yesterday. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know, since it was probably just weird. I don't know. And then we have the current map, which um, you can see some progression obviously has happened. And yeah, it's very interesting to see uh, just how this area looks compared looks now compared to you know, um, oh, well, it was almost two years ago now. And uh, I think this is enough for uh, this base. What if we you know checked out the other people's bases? Let's go. So I think we saw with the shopping district, which um, is probably the most like used area, and I think it's just a good place to uh, do do a tour. So yeah, here we have the shopping district. Now, uh, some of the stuff here is quite old, and some of it is quite new. Um, here is well, it's not really. Um, in the same way that I was before, but uh, one stack six diamonds. Yeah, basically this was the very first shop in the whole shopping district, which was made by yours truly me. And then there's also like a an old Isaac head because I I uh, changed my skin, and then we have uh, another shop which is quite important for the um in the storyline of the thing, which was, um, originally there was a shop here named the, uh, female, which was basically an, uh, I, a man shaped like a, um, iron because, uh, chemistry and stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, now, after that, um, our ba original base partner, Redna, uh, decided to build a shop here, a different one, which honestly looks really cool and really, um, really just fits in here still, um, and surprisingly enough, it's like it's still very, very, it's like very old. It's like one of the first shops here. And then we have the Floating Island, which was uh, like a signer place for the, um, for, for, for a building competition, which never really ended up happening. And then you put your things there in the uh, boat, uh, which was very interesting. I, I know that there used to be armor stands here, but I don't know where they went. I think, like, obviously there's some, like, significant shops here, like, for example, the, um, uh, the, the Colosseum, or the, um, obviously, uh, this, uh, Totem's End Shop, and then, uh, obviously a few more, but, uh, primarily that. And then, obviously, I think, probably one of the most, if not, probably the most iconic shop of the entire season. The Isaac Sand Ship. Yep, it's my, it's my sand, sand shop that I built in episode 5, I think it was. Uh, but yeah, this... This is like that was like my first ever time using the replay mod, and I've obviously been uh, obviously got, gotten a lot better with it. Uh, but honestly, it's, it's cool to look back and think that this like this is arguably at the same level as like nowadays, probably maybe a little bit worse. But uh, hey, this was made in survival uh, back in like the start of 2022, and I think I think it still really holds up really well. And yeah. And there's also a jelly here. First in peace. Uh, well, yeah, I think I've also recently just added an interior to this. Uh, together with, uh, well, not really together, but I was in a VC with a Century 21. By the way, this is a map I just got gifted like a few hours ago. <laughs> but yeah, the, this is the uh, current uh, lower bits of the ship. And in here, there was, uh, like, there is kind of a, is a super, like, uh, entrance to the, uh, toilet. And, yeah, you can crawl around here. Then there was originally a, going to be a hitman shop here. Uh, but that just never ended up uh, happening. Uh, but yeah, you would just basically crawl, th crawl through that pipe. And then end up right there. But yeah, I think that's kind of it for the, um, uh, for the ship. Then the, I think this was called the Hybrid Town. I originally had a pet shop here, but uh, 
I removed it and then started like a project like a uh, a year ago, which has never just just never ended up being finished. And then also this, which is a uh, Sinus little frog eye shop, which I think I um, bought some stuff from. But yeah, I think we're gonna go back to the um, where I think is probably like the most like important area, at least for my series. Obviously, I think the shopping district in general I think is probably more important. But uh. I think we should start right here, uh, which is uh, the nether channel for my base, which uh, is obviously quite jungly, because my base is kind of a jungle. We have also have a little fat me uh, just sitting there, but um, holy crap, I, I just love this base. I just, like, this was built, like... I, I usually just view myself like my older videos as like very bad, but obviously my building skills weren't bad. Here we have the pond of um, where they once used to live a, sh a fish, Erik Jan. He will always be remembered, well quote unquote, because I quite honestly I kind of forgot about him until I went back here uh, when I originally checked this out like a few a few days ago. Because I needed to get some stuff and stuff and things, yeah. Well, yeah, here we have the um, cool little jungly um, uh, enchanting area. Um, I don't really think this is too good because of, uh, you know, uh, the um, the way that the bookshelves are arranged. But, uh, hey, it's fine for what it is. So I think if we just go up here, I think we can really get a nice, a better view of this. Well, yeah, this is this is dense. This is the kind of jungle that um, I'm aiming to do for the base, which uh, when I'm recording this, I still haven't really finished it. Um, at least the jungle a bit. Um, but yeah, I just I just love this. And then um, uh, there's also a uh, sugarcane farm here, which m is missing a piston. Let's see how many sugarcanes there are. There's two stacks. So I think that's pretty fine. For, for a base that probably has to be loaded for over a year. And then we go into uh, Isaac's cave house thing. Which um, yeah, is this little hobbit hole right here. Obviously it's much bigger on the inside because it's kind of a cave. But not really. Just a hand dug little hole. But yeah, maybe we should wait with that until last. Because um, we also have a thing that used to be, I think, a pen for cows. And then there's also, of course, the uh, player heads, um, the the mob drops, and the um, other things like the Furby, which I think, I think was a thing from a uh, Palm Boss, if anyone even remembers him. But yeah, he he was a really really funny guy on the server, and uh, hopefully he comes back for a season two. And yeah, it is it, not really that good looking. It's it's still like a cave wall. However. It's also Furby there, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, right there. There's an egg. From the egg hunt, which I think I kind of skipped uh, through. Uh, but the, I, essentially, I got a f bunch of player heads uh, of my own, which resembled uh, Easter eggs. And then hid them around the server, and there was like a sort of a minigame thing, but no one really competed. Uh, it kind of became a flop, and only really one guy uh, got the uh, the eggs. But anyways, uh, the chests, uh, if anyone wants to loot them uh, in the world download, then go ahead. But yeah, we have Pete the Paris, I think, which who was named by Shadow Gaming, aka Twonky. Uh, a map of the area, which I think hasn't been updated recently, although it doesn't really matter because uh, it, it probably hasn't changed that much. And then... This might be probably one of the most valuable items in the entire server. This is my first pickaxe. The pickaxe from like the first 10 minutes of me being on the server. When the server wasn't even 24 years old, 24 hours old. And uh, it's now almost 2 years old. Yeah, I think it's very cool that I've still been able to uh, keep it. Then going up here, there is a uh, bubble elevator towards the, uh, the cactus farm. Now right here, is one of the funniest moments, well, not really the funniest, but like, it, it, it was still very funny when this happened originally. This was, uh, the thing that happened here, you can still see the chests, 
but basically, um, my uh, friend, uh, like our old base buddy friend, Redna Excella, um, basically, he he walked he like walked through here and then thought there was water down there, so he, he just like jumped off, and jumped and like died on some dripstone. So then we have the chests here, which uh, had his stuff, which is, um, it, it, it's gonna be there. I'm gonna keep it there because of the memories. And then we also have the, um, skeleton farm, which got, like, majority of the, uh, second episode, which also that happened in. Um, but yeah, obviously, I, I, my, my, my editing skills back then weren't really good, so I just, the entire episode was just, uh, dripstone. No, no, first time, but just skeleton farm. And now we're gonna fly to an area which I really don't know if you guys have seen that much. Um, but I've certainly seen it a lot. And, uh, that area is none other than, uh, the EE Industrial District, or the European Empire Industrial Dix District, which, um, used to be Redness, uh, like, in, uh, base. And, yeah. This is kind of where we've uh, had everything, uh, just kept everything going, like vill villager trading, farming, uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of it actually. But like, I, I I've gone to this area a lot of times just to um, because the uh, the end farm has broken, so um, uh, the I, I've had to like trade up and get experience from that. Uh, but yeah, otherwise. Uh, I think obviously we have the mob from here, which we also like built quite a bit of, um, which I still think is running pretty well. I think it wasn't running decently, not badly, but uh, yeah. Now we're gonna move over to uh, some of the uh, some of the other people's bases, which um, it's not that many to be honest, um, or at least not on a big scale. Obviously, people everyone have has like a small base. But this is probably one of the biggest, like, base, groups of bases where a lot of people live. Uh, which is for, uh, I don't know really what the name is of this group of people. Um, I'm just gonna call them the Swamp Boys because it was kind of like the, the same gang in, uh, Body Third Life. So I'm just gonna call these the Swamp Boys. I think this is biggest Bubba's, um, or Shrekens, or I, I don't even remember what, what he calls himself nowadays. Yeah, Evan. Evan, aka Biggest Baba, aka uh, Shrekken, aka whatever. Right here, we have uh, Merc Space, which obviously, uh, it's cool, it's cool, obviously. Um, it has a lot of uh, farms, I think there's also like a PvP arena right here. Yeah, there's a PvP arena right there. Now, I don't really know how to get up here. Okay, how do I even get out? There. But yeah, this is this is honestly uh, checking this out around right now. This is like a very very cool area in in general. Um, there's a lot of cool buildings which I don't think are finished. But yeah, um, this I mean this is obviously not that good looking, but. This build, which looks like kind of like a New York style building, uh, not really, but uh, you get what I mean, all right? It's a more modern building, and then we have a like a medieval sort of building, which looks honestly really cool. And this one also looks pretty cool. Or this still wasn't really the thing that I was aiming to show, because um, right right through here, we have um, what is Century Twenty One Space. Now, Sentry is obviously a very, very good music producer. Like, he produces very great orchestral music. And, yeah. His bass. Now, the story between Sentry, alright? This might not seem like the most amazing bass um, out there. Obviously, I think there's probably better basses. Um, however, Sentry, when joining this SP, hadn't really. Uh, he's, allegedly, at least. I hadn't played Minecraft for, since like 2013. 
He hasn't played Minecraft for almost 10 years when this was built. Uh, obviously, it's 2024 now, so it's been like 11 years, but uh, he built this in the beginning of uh, 2022, or like mid-2022. Also, shout out to Sentry. He literally sponsored the entirety of the Spiked Islands. Uh, basically, um, it was like a very, very old deal where we could take like anything, like, like a lot of deep slates, because originally we needed it for a like futuristic base. So, uh, we made some kind of deal, which I don't really remember what it is. Uh, but yeah, we have, uh, had an unlimited deep slate, and then I contacted him recently, and then he was, like, chill with me taking stuff from here to build the build. Like, a really, really cool guy, I must admit. But yeah, I genuinely just really love the, uh, builds here. Obviously, it's not finished, you can see, like, the, um, uh, outlines with dirt, so, like, I think this was meant to be a church at one point? And then, uh, just more buildings. Uh, I, I really love these, like, steampunk vibe that he has implemented. Like, sort of a mix between medieval and steampunk, I think. Like, this is just so cool. Like, this is a chicken farm, which I think looks more like a cafe or something. Or bar or restaurant or something. Yeah, this, this is just, this is just so amazing. And then we also have... Uh, the, the other build made by Sentry, which was the Court of Shenanigans, which was a, an ambitious, not really too ambitious project, but like a project where we we could take people to courts, basically the US in a nutshell. But yeah, the, it wasn't fully finished, as you can tell, uh, but this, this, this is cool. Here's where the, like, court, like the judges would sit, and then just, uh, sentence people to jail or something. Just, just super cool things, honestly. But while we're currently in this area, I think it's time to uh, visit the uh, the egg games once and once again. But yeah, I think somewhere towards here, there was the uh, egg battle portal. So. Yeah, so right here, I think, is the egg battle area. Or so wait, let me let me find it on my uh, in the old video. Okay, I've got the coordinates in the Nether. Oh, it's like right here. I think, yeah. It is. All right, we have one of the funniest, uh, at least fun to record. Obviously, it's not, it's not like funny because it's also like people are gonna laugh at this. But yeah. Here's where we had the uh, competition for to win the uh, dragon egg, which uh, was basically you had to build an arena, and then you would like judge it. Uh, like we judge uh, the best arena, and then the best arena would be the one that you'd uh, play in. So for example, here's Gigahertz Arena, which I only really saw in the his episodes his episode of it. It's, it's, it's cool, I guess. Like an oval shape. Quite big, actually. Uh, then we have Shadow Gaming's arena, which is just like... Uh, yeah, balls. And then you can try it in it. Uh, we have some just like parkour arenas. Uh, with uh, Star Wars quotes. So like, you can do it. You underestimate my power. Remember to say thanks to... Okay. So it's like Star Wars code and then praising Starly. Don't try it, don't lose. You can't win Anakin. I have the high ground. Yeah, basically, uh... I, I can't lie, I haven't really watched Star Wars. Uh, so now now my friend will kill me. Uh, but anyways... Uh, the, the winner of the, uh, building competition. Uh, which is on, on... Uh, through, over this bridge. Me. I won the b building competition of building the best arena with the budget Colosseum, which th this is ass to fight in. Wait, this is where you like you would like start in inside of these doors and then uh, run out and then you'd fight. But obviously, this is like th 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 this obviously is very very small. But then again, we had like an hour to build, and then we have the uh, throne of. Uh, the legend that is Sarly, who uh, hosted this. This this has been very fun to just check out. Uh, so now let's just... Um, I think we should probably go back uh, to and check out some other bases. 
And that bass is another, none other than Gigahertz's. The Gigahertz was the original uh, founder of the SMP. I think he's still like part of the Discord server, but because of him, you know, going to uh, go going to college or I think I don't know university. I don't really remember. Uh, but yeah, basically he kind of just left the server, uh, and yeah, this was what he built. And honestly, it's it's super cool. Similar to Sentry, he hasn't really done many building projects in Minecraft, and well, I think Sentry's is obviously very cool. This is obviously on a, on a whole new level, which with very honestly, honestly very good looking like gradients and coloring and stuff like. Gig Gigahertz not only is a master of building Lego, but also is a master of building in Minecraft. Just wow. Um, yeah, this, uh, if you don't know, this is actually based off a Lego set, which is the Lego medieval, uh, medieval blacksmith. So yeah, I think this is super cool. Obviously there's some bits of interior and also, uh, the, uh, like, custom lush cave. Which is also very cool. Obviously, I, obviously, I think it's not as good. Like, obviously, if we compare this to, like, for example, uh, you know, my um, jungle, my, like my star base and my jungle, uh, like, like the the E Island. Obviously, this is obviously like much worse quality. But it's also trying to um, be more like the Manila game and not like the um, uh, not be something like realistic and custom. But yeah, this is honestly super, still super cool, especially with the, uh, what he did there with the training. And yeah, honestly, okay, this looks a little bit goofy, but, uh, hey. This is, this is cool, still super, super cool. And yeah, it really shows that, um, watching Hermitcraft can really just impact your sense of, uh, building and building style. But it also has a bit of interior, which I hadn't seen this far. Like only recently I found this out. Uh, well, yeah, this is this is cool as well, with like a couch or bed. I don't, know, I don't know. I think this is couch, not a bed. Then um, just a way out with uh, some log storage, and then uh, the uh, villager trading hall, which is very very noisy because it has like every single book there is and Isaac. However, I can't actually exit the portal back. Because of a thing known as uh, a farm that has gone wrong and also affected this portal, which um, I don't want to lose, risk losing my stuff, so I'm just not gonna go through there. Well, that was a fun trip back down uh, memory lane, and uh, well, uh, yeah, the this server is almost two years old now. It was my first ever like multiplayer experience. It wasn't like with the people who like I know in real life. This is like my first ever like collaborative Minecraft uh, experience. And so I'm thinking honestly of uh, showing you guys the uh, my favorite moments of each and every episode. Um, so let's go. I just put you on my bed immediately. Oh, this is to take one and take a half heart of damage. Okay, so it seems like redness here. Wait, red. Ah! <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I'll, 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 I'll get his stuff. Giga, kill me! Kill me! Yes, I. W oh yeah, I do, I do, I do. Thank you. Now I did that just because I could do this. This is not a melon. This is now an Isaac melon. Oh, it's one of What the? Uh, stop blocking with this. I can't. Oh, oh shoot. No, that's a problem. Oh, God, shoot. I don't have any blocks. No. I have something pie. Okay, Giga has a pickaxe. Oh, 
Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Anyway. Oh no! <laughs> I abandoned ship. Oh. I I jumped down. Oh okay. shoot! I am so sorry. Uh, did. <laughs> oh no! Anyway. <laughs> he lost his head. Ah! Does anyone have blocks? Because I have no blocks <laughs> at all. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, I think One the rockets second. are dead. Don't touch my stuff. Don't. I'll rescue your stuff. I mean, I've even tried bribing Gigahertz by, you know, giving me an, giving him sand, him sand and stuff. Of course, we have our beautiful, our beautiful little campaign poster, which um, totally, totally was a prank done on cinemas. No, 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 no. Oh fuck. Oh, BG, sorry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! I'm not the first one to fucking swear! <laughs> well, you were the second one now. Let's go! <laughs> I literally so believed wow. I was going to be the well, first one. <laughs> Can I swear now? <laughs> mommy! Mommy, the other kids also swore. Can I swear now? Who who the hell has fun to do it, first of all? Like, I suffer potential That's gigahertz. True. I no, I I don't, not really anymore. <laughs> what did you did you spend it all on Lego? Nope. Did you, did you spend it all on uh, drugs and hoes? <laughs> you spent it on his trumpet. No, nope, still no. Nope. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, school, it's school. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Who even wants to go to school? And why do you spend money on it? Well, what school? <laughs> you know, school. School. Literally, I think you would earn more money by dealing drugs on the street than actually doing stuff that school teaches. That's the thing. Life tips for Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder that we have that. Looking back, this has honestly been a great adventure, honestly. Like, Orisons, I can't lie, has been probably one of the biggest parts of my life. Um, at least, like, not necessarily, since, like, I haven't ac actually, like, actively been on the, um, uh, on the server, but, like, if you think about it, the, the way, the place that, w that I've ended up now is all because of Orisons. Like, First, I of course just joined Artisans, met some people, and one of those people was uh, Sinus Craft. Now, obviously, you've heard me complain a lot about him a little bit in this video, um, but like, he was the guy who kind of just kickstarted everything uh, for me to become like, for me to become who I am today. At least on the online. Obviously, I don't think my real life, uh, you know, things have uh, changed so much. Um, because of, you know, me being online. Uh, but you know, he invited, he, he was mainly the person who invited me to uh, the, what was at that point known as the, uh, the Diarize, um, Diarize Community Discord, or whatever, whatever it was called, Diarize's Gang, um, for the YouTuber called Diarize, who I think has like quit YouTube by this point. But yeah, there I met a lot of people who I, when I'm to be like friends with, such as for example, Kamek and Nikasef, and primarily Milky Red. Now, Milky Red was the guy who just introduced me to uh, the competitive side of Minecraft, such as Minecraft events, by mainly inviting me to MCL and then um, join like so many other tournaments like BOC. Uh, well, although I'm not, I've never played BOC, but primarily Pignet, and now I work for Pignet. And, yeah, all of this is just because of Orisans, technically. So, yeah. I think, I think, uh, this is, uh, just a, a good place to end it. Well, yeah, I think this is, um, this might be the way to end it. Ending an adventure. This has been a great adventure with everyone here. Although I don't think I got many viewers on Orisans, um, and the video quality, obviously, the, the old videos aren't really that good. Um, but, like, it's it, it's been fun. That's all I'm gonna say. It's been a fun adventure to play, uh, play.
play online with people for the first time. And maybe just something new won't happen. And, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll go back uh, to this video, maybe, and think it's very bad. And that might generally be a good thing, because that means that uh, I've improved. And, yeah. Now, what I'm gonna do is, um, leave this chest here. And in this chest, I'll probably have to put a sign on it. Um, but here we have my stuff. So I'll, I'll give you guys all my gear for the people who are um, just checking out the uh, checking out the server, such as my helmet, uh, my elytra, my. Uh, Oh god, uh, my, my uh, pants, and these, I'll put a totem of dying in the middle, um, which is, uh, I, 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 I don't know, these are not my tools, well, well, these are my tools, but not the totem of dying, but uh, my my bow, the, the AK-47, my trident, you can't put loyalty, loyalty on my hoe, on, on a hoe, uh, the hoe, the uh, Orchin pickaxe, the um, the great axe blade axe, the fourth one of them, the second sand digger, the pickaxe, and probably the most one of the most uh, important items on the server besides my first pickaxe maybe at least when it comes to the tools, and that is the blade of Sweden which I got. All the way back when I lost my stuff in I think episode three then I got a, a diamond sword and decided to name it after my country which is Sweden if you don't know and uh, yeah it's been with me ever since which is very cool in my opinion it's I, I, I don't know how that's happened like I've lost a lot of my other gear like I think everything here is like the second version of this at least um, but yeah, I'll leave this for you guys. If you want to see it, uh, I'll put I'll put it in my rockets. Okay, that was maybe not my rockets, but I'll put it in these. And then, uh, yeah, I think this is the proper way to say goodbye to artisans. Thank you guys so much for this adventure with me. Right as the sun sets. Another adventure might appear, but not without saying a proper goodbye to our sense. It's been an adventure. GG. SMP.